Guys, we are back this week with Worse First. I have an amazing guest. He is one of the most talented directors and I think like the king of horror, honestly, because Hostel was scary as shit. Um, we have Eli Roth here and I am so happy you came to, to do this. I'm so I'm happy so you grateful. invited me. Yeah. I love that you're doing this because you are one of my favorite people and ah. Every time we talk, I just, I'm laughing. Yay. I just find your sense of humor it's so dark and wickedly funny. Thanks. Um, and you're one of my favorite people because you are unoffendable Yeah. in a way. And I don't mean that like your feelings couldn't be hurt, but yeah. I mean that any jokes I make, like you'll come back with something equally as dark. And yes. those are generally the people that I really vibe with. Especially in a world where everyone's offended. By yes, everything. where everyone's offended by any, you sort of collect the people who are like, okay, I know I can make like really dark, sick jokes around. Yeah, and it's a safe space. Yes, like it's, exactly. it's our, weirdly, it's our, weirdly it's saying our those horrible weird, things. fucked up safe space yeah. where we're like, we can be creepy and fucked up and no one's gonna no get one's it. Gonna it's judge not gonna us. get out of here. Get it. It's not gonna leave this room. I, know. I love that. It's fun. I'm so glad you're here and I know, but obviously you're a storyteller for a living. You know, being a director, you're a storyteller. And so I, that's another reason why I really wanted to have you on because I was like, he's a fucking storyteller. I have some stories. I want to hear I have it. some stories that are pre-cell phone and I have some stories from now, you know, because I always talk about what it was like to date in the 90s in New York City before cell phones and anything that was recorded, it was just like there was no record of anything. You guys so got you away with just, fucking We murder. got to be fucking nuts. We got to do <laughs> crazy. I mean, not behave like animals, but there was just a general behavior level that was kind of indulgent and accepted. It wasn't the 70s. It wasn't right. like the pre-AIDS era or, you know, we had heard about Studio 54 and then we got hit with AIDS. So everyone was like super cautious about everything. Right. But, um, you know, when I was 18, I went to NYU to go to film school. And then after I lived there and I moved into an apartment with my two friends, you know, and, and then I've had, you know, look, I'm it's funny because now I'm like recently single, yeah, so I'm back single. in the dating world. So you have to have, uh, you know, kind of dating again, mm, it's kind weird. of starting from scratch, kind of in the Me Too era, in the this era, in the cell mm. phone era, in the everything you, every text message you send is now so careful on record. It's like a whole different sort of way yeah. you ha approach you have to take to it's dating. It's scary. It it's is scary. scary. It's almost like, because you don't know people until obviously you get to know them. And so you're meeting all these new people and you're like, oh my God, I don't want to say something that offends them. I don't want to say something they're going to use against me. I don't want to say something like, ah, it's You have scary. to put everything through the filter of, if I have sex with this person, will I lose my entire career over it if they say something about me? Like, yes. it's crazy. But <laughs> yeah. uh, look, as, as someone who makes horror movies, I'm mm -hmm. always thinking about worst case scenario. So you're always thinking, you're just like, oh man, mm -hmm. you know, if this was 10 years ago, I'd be way, I'd be like, yeah, sure, let's go back to my house. Like, Care I'd be free. way more mm -hmm. open about who, you, and it's really about who you let into your life. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of the times you think, well, now, you know, whereas before, if you were hooking up with a few different girls, you're like, yeah, I fucked her, I don't want a car, I'll let this one, let yeah. this one kind of fade no away. No big deal. <laughs> now there's a thing of like, wow, do I really, it's, it's in a way it's good because it really makes you double think and triple, quadruple think, if I want to be intimate with this person, and are you serious about it? Are you really going to follow up? Yeah. Or if this is someone you're just hooking up with, are you both on the same page about that? Or are they going to have expectations? And if mm. you can't meet those expectations, freak out. things are going to, you know, things can turn bad. And now all of a sudden I'm in a vulnerable position with that. When you're 20s and you're broke, nobody cares. You're no like, one you're worthless. cares, yeah. But now you're like, okay, if you're a target, you just have to be. So all it does is it just makes you be, it's not like poor me. Right. You just have to be careful. careful. You, just you have, have to, be, have to careful. be careful. And I think it's like, you know, obviously, you know, the girls these days, like, there's just so much going on. And obviously, yes, rightfully so, notes. there's been a lot that's happened. And so rightfully so, a lot of these girls are coming forward and a lot of stuff's happened. But, it, you know, I've personally known you and I think you're amazing. And I I am so excited for you just to, like, I want to hear your stories. I'm okay. just so excited. So let me, I'll, tell, I'll tell you, like, a couple from back in the day. Um, I used to do extra work. What? First, all the time. Oh, what? Oh, dude. This was notorious. I was no I was literally known as the worst. First, I was a PA, so I was on the street corner when they were making Micho Black, and the they, the AD was like, "Eli, you got to lock up," which is when you stop and hold traffic, Fifth Avenue, 
it was June. They were shooting Meet Joe Black. It's Brad Pitt and Anthony Hopkins walking down the street. Oh, my God. And you had, like, Japanese tourists and, and like, New York City. It's a beautiful June summer day. And I had to be the guy being, folks, could you please just, no flashes. <laughs> yes, told you. Just yeah, stop. Like, and, and, and they Cabs knew. Are just running you over. The ADs knew they could throw me into any situation and I could handle it. I was very, very good at handling crowds because I could be funny. I could be charming. I wasn't the guy going, back up. You know, some people take a very aggressive attitude, which the New Yorkers are going to you know, come right back with, but yeah. so you got to use a little judo. Like I remember they, there'd be homeless people fighting in Tompkins Square Park in like January when they were shooting this, oh. like a TV show in some building and they'd be like, Eli, you got to go and take care of that. A what? They'd be like, How? Like, as if like a loaf of bread? Come on guys. I went out with with cups of soup. I would walk wow. into the middle of the park, and this is when it was dangerous, oh and it was God. drug addicts and homeless. Yeah. I'd bring out 20 cups of soup, and they're like, what are, what? and they would just look at me, and I'd go, Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt. We're filming right up there, and we have all this extra food. And instead of throwing it away, I said, "Why don't we give it to the guys outside? They might want it." And they all come around. They're all drinking. So they're like, Aww. "So un- suddenly everyone stopped. Like food stops everything. Yeah. People stop." And they go, and then I go, and they're like, "Oh, thank you." And I was like, "Oh, thank you. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you." And they go, "Oh, do you need us to be quiet?" I go, "No. Well, do you know what? Maybe let me just say. Well, actually, you know, if you guys could hold up for five minutes, that would be awesome. Do you guys need?" It? And they're like, "Oh, sorry, sorry to bother you." Like suddenly, you just wow. you make him part of the team. Like they go, "Hey, there are these construction workers outside sawing open the street. Go take, go handle them." I go out with like a bunch of donuts and cappuccino. I'm so sorry, guys. We we have all this extra food. Do you guys want some? Oh yeah. Oh, you guys need us to hold up. Like I'm telling you, food can change. Dude. Food, free food ch- solves everything. Food solves all problems. Wow. So I worked. I would do the casting where I would work for this extras casting director. And we would sign up, I, you know, like maybe 500 people. This is like for the Barbra Streisand movie, The Mirror's Two Faces. Oh and then God. I would act in it as a terrible extra. So <laughs> I, I would right sign the there camera. in the morning. Oh, no, I'm, I'm so bad because there's a scene where she goes, it's on YouTube where they're like, Barbara Streisand's like, I heard once when we, when we fall in love, we hear Puccini in our heads. And this kid next to me goes, ah, moi, Puccini. And she goes, who said that? Who said that? So, of course, like 10 people, well, it steals everyone's like, that was me, that was me. So she'll put the camera because what you want is an upgrade because if you say a line, if yeah, the no director worries. says you get a line, then you can get upgraded from being an extra, which is $99 a day, to being a SAG day player, which is like $1,500 a day. Right. Over- so suddenly it's like your rent is paid and it's how you get into SAG. So everyone's like, people are just like doing anything for people a line. People are like, like yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, shut up. <laughs> like yelling stuff. So so she puts the camera on me and these guys and we're like being terrible extras. Like yeah. Puccini, yeah. She puts a camera like on me. This. There's a close-up of me. And people were like, you look like her gay son with Elliot Gould. That's why she's filming you. So she keeps like in front of 300 people. Direct. So while I'm there, oh I'm like talking to this girl from Staten Island. You, you kind of go in the holding room and I would sign in like, Three or five hundred people, me and my friend Lloyd and my friend oh, Jill Kushner. We were we worked for the extras casting and we would like hand out the vouchers, sign them in, and then if it was a scene like the college student scene, we would work as extras. So I'm there and I'm talking to this one girl, um, and she's from Staten Island. And she was like kind of like nice and, and when you're on a movie set and it's like you're shooting all night Long day, and you're yeah. waiting. Yep. You kind of get, get in crazy people. conversations. Mm-hmm. You just have this weird alchemy of people, and everybody knew that I worked for Judy, the extras casting mm-hmm. director. And so I would see them in the morning, and I like I knew their name and handed their. I was like kind of an employee, but also kind of an extra. And I'd work production, so I knew the ads. I knew yeah. the pre- suddenly I was just one of those You're like guys, like kingpin. I kind <laughs> of knew people on sets, yeah, of all the extras. So, but it was a great chance. It's almost like you condense. 10 first dates into one, you could really, really get into like crazy intense conversations wow. about like sex and relationships yeah. and life. Mm-hmm. Like people just, cause they're actors and everyone's vulnerable. So this girl, she's like, let's like somehow I, like we wind up exchanging, you know, you write down phone numbers back then. There was mm-hmm. no cell phones. So like, let's, let's go on a date. And she was from Staten Island. And I remember like me and oh, my, my friend, God. she's like, let's go on a date. <laughs> yes, I can't do her voice, but it was basically. Can we go on a date? We it was like, go on a date it, was, it wasn't quite yeah. my, my cousin right, Vinny. Right, right, and right. she's like very nice, but yeah. it was that, it was like that kind of accent. Right. So I, I remember telling, like she, it was hanging out with her friend and she somehow, I want, I don't know how, but it wound up as like a double date. Like I, I talked to my friend Jamie, who was from Toronto and he was like studied film composing and he was like sort of a nerdy intellectual kind of movie geek guy and I'm like do you want to go out with these girls in Staten Island he's like of course I do so <laughs> we're like how do we get to Staten Island it's like we have to take the ferry and it's like our first time like oh taking God. the ferry to Staten Island and these girls meet us and they oh picked us up in their car and this girl 
was very nice and she was really sweet and we're like she's like there's this oh my god there's this amazing restaurant we love that we like go to and i'm sitting with jamie we're in the back seat and we're like we're looking around and i just will never forget it him just like looking at me and this like it dawns on him we just pull up at this parking lot and there's just the big red apple and just says Applebee's. No. And these girls are like pitching it like it's the greatest restaurant because like the mozzarella sticks are amazing and they have these fritters and, and they knew the Applebee's menu. And I was just like, and Jamie is looking at me like. <laughs> He's like, uh. And I was like, yeah. like, And I, and I just looked at him and, and I was like, we're in a movie. Oh. And we're, I was like, we're just, God. we're going all in. I was like, there's no fighting this. We're just going with it. So we go to Applebee's oh, and, and we're just like having this dinner and we're like trying to be nice and friendly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the girls are like, like, this is the biggest thing. And like, we wind up paying and the girls like, can't believe that we paid for Applebee's. And then Jamie's like, we got like, what are we going to do? I was like, let's at least, we said we'd go to the movie. So we went to see Fargo because that this dates this, right? Applebee's. Oh my so God. So we went to Applebee's. Then Fargo. we're like, let's go to see Fargo because yeah. it's really fun. And the girls just... They couldn't. You've never seen two girls hate a movie more. Really? Because why was they didn't get it at all? So me and Jamie are like, like, this this is an unheralded masterpiece. He's talking about Carter Burwell's score. I'm talking about the Coen Brothers. And I had assumed. And the girls like, I think I still got chicken taco on my teeth. That was (laughs) exactly that. So we're we're sitting there, and it's look. I'm not a. I'm not like a snob. If someone doesn't like a movie or doesn't. I don't need everyone. I know that I'm a super movie nerd, so yeah. I don't expect everyone that I go to the movies with to be at that level of like knowing who the Coen brothers are. But these girls were like aggressively hating the movie. Oh, so I was like, oh my God. fine. And then they're like, let's, one, the one girl's like, well, let's just go back to my house. And we're like, okay, great. So we go back. Oh my God, I'm so scared. So now I'm like obsessed to see what the house what, like, looks like. Where do like. these people come from that, that think Applebee's is Benihana? Like, <laughs> where do they come from? What is, who are they? What is your structure? I mean, Applebee's is bomb, don't get me wrong. I've eaten we Applebee's love Apple- many a time, but. Applebee's we were in is high like, school. It was like, just, it was like McDonald's. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. So, so we go, yeah, no disrespect to Applebee's. Yeah, but, no disrespect. Um, <laughs> It wasn't Jean George. So, so, and I wasn't like, we didn't have money. I wasn't like a food snob, but I just right. thought there'd be at least a little, you know, something that wasn't a train restaurant. Yeah. So we go back to the house and I look, and it's my first time in a Staten Island Jewish house. Now, I grew up in Newton in Jewish wow. houses, but all of the plastic, there was plastic on the furniture. The couch and was covered. The couches in. were covered in plastic. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, they sit down, you're like, ah! and I was like, I'd only seen that in movies. <gasps> That's like crazy. that was like something that was like out of a Scorsese movie. I was yes. like, what? And I was like, why would you cover the plot? I was like, it's it was like so supposed to be comfortable. It was the most not- incomprehensible. Yeah. And Jamie, who's from Toronto, has oh, never experienced Staten Island like Jewish girls like this. And he's Jewish, and he's just and he's looking at me. And we're and we're like Horrible. archaeologists now. We're just like <laughs> on an expedition. And I looked, and on the coffee table, no, there was a book. And she's like, careful with that. And I go, what is it? And it was her bat mitzvah album. No. On the coffee table. And and it wasn't like photos. It was the kind where you had the photos printed into this thick, thick stock oh. cardboard. And she's like, be careful with that. Be careful with that. And I was like, why? And she goes, because it's for show. And I go, what do you mean? <laughs> she's like, well, when my parents' friends come over, my parents like to act like they're really Jewish and like they're really active in temple, even though they don't give a shit. So they leave the album out. As if it's really important. Oh my god! And I was like, I've never that's encountered hilarious. like fake it's, it's like a, Jews yeah, before. Yeah, it's like a prop, a Jewish prop. Yeah, that's yes. a prop. Be careful with that. Dude, everything was a prop. Stop. Everything in the house was all for show. And I'm like, what about that menorah? They're like, that's for show. I'm like, what about the kiddush cup? Completely what for about show. The mezuzah. They, the mezuzah, 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 mezuzah for show. She's like, I've never used any of this stuff, but my parents leave it out for when their friends come over. And then she's like, let's go in my room. They were fake Jews. They were fake (laughs) Jews. So then she immediately pivots. She's like, let's go in my room. Oh, my God. And I'm like, okay. And so now Jamie was clearly not into the other girl. And he's looking. And I just leave him. I was like, like, I was like, see you, buddy. And I leave him on the couch with this other girl who's like, (laughs) and we we hear this like, I hear this. "Eh, eh, eh." Like a spider in a Harry Potter movie. Every time movie. they moved, you could just hear it. And poor it. Jamie. And oh poor Jamie's God. just looking at me, and I'm like, you know, that Jamie, expression. You know, Jamie, you, we're sorry. You take the grenade. You know, yeah. that like, you're just covering it for the rest of the, you know. Oh, my God. I don't know if you had that expression. Take the grenade. I'll take the grenade. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guys do that when yeah, they go out with like, the If there's, like, like, the annoying friend, girl, it's yeah. like, it's, or, like, annoying, and this yeah. is just, like, yeah. 
I'll take the grenade. I'll like I'll take yeah. the hit. You go. Yeah. You have a, yeah. So Jamie like is a like. War thing. So Jamie, yeah. So Jamie sits there and he's like, and this girl was just annoying. Oh, like she no. was like the girl I was with was nice, but the other girl just hated everything. Everything was miserable. Disagree with it. And so except now, except Applebee's, she except loved Applebee's. Applebee's. She loved Applebee's. She loved that we paid for Applebee's. So Jamie's just with this like kind of angry frump. We leave yeah. him on the plastic couch, which is fine. He can spill all the drinks he wants. No one's gonna get in trouble. And I go in this girl's room. Oh my god. And she's in this little dress, which I thought was interesting choice. To, not like jeans and a t-shirt. We were pretty casual, and she wore like a dress, which was sweet. Aww. And and we're hooking up, and she unzips the side of her dress, and the dress comes out, and she had she had tissues, and she'd stuffed her bra. No. Yes. Like. And your face right now. I know people listening can't see your face. That was my. It was me. Doing everything not to, I suddenly put my hands on her breast and I took out, <laughs> and I had two handfuls Stop. of tissues. She had with like tissue paper. She had stuffed her, which was the weird. I, I thought that was like a scene in Animal House. Oh, I'd never my God. in my life. I thought that was like a joke. I thought like, it I was a joke was too. A I thing. didn't think anyone actually really did that. Certainly not people in their mid twenties. I was like, why would you think? I, and it was such a weird thing of like, why would you think I would? Need care that. or yeah, need yeah, that yeah, or yeah, like yeah. be like well I'm out of here yeah. she's an A cup what are like, these? I don't have to blow my nose or, yeah. or as if I hadn't seen that before right, when we right. were on the set hanging out for like yeah. three nights before yeah. but I was so weirded Weird. out by the tissues Weird. I was like hey I should ask you what time is the last ferry back I didn't even really think about oh that oh my god you're like and then she's like <laughs> I think it's at like 11.40 or like 11.55. I was like, what time is it? She's like, it's 11.30. I'm like, well, how far is the ferry? She's like, it's only like 15 minutes from here. I'm like, well, what happens after the last ferry? Like, we're, yeah, you're like, we're, we're stuck we're on stuck. Staten we're like, Island? I'm like, we have to leave right now. You're like, I'm stuck and she's like, on okay, so couch? she like Stop. sips. And I was like, Jamie, we got to go. We yeah, got to go. Yeah. And, and the girls were like, and then they were like kind of taking forever. And I'm like. I really don't want to miss, like, this has been like, I don't want to get stuck here. I don't want to miss a tissue girl. And then and Jamie's freaking... like, are we going to be stuck here? He's like, we're going to be stuck all night? Like, I can't spend oh, that. I'm like, I'm like no, we got to go, we got to go, oh we got So they race us to the ferry, and this actually happened. I never thought this would happen to me in my life. We ran. We're like, bye. We get out of the car. We're running as the ferry's pulling Stop. away. And the gate's down. And we jump over the closed gate. Stop. And the ferry's pulling out. Stop. And we fucking did it. And we you left. made it. Like a scene in a 70s movie, what we fucking fuck? jumped onto the ferry as it was pulling away over like three or four feet of water. And we landed. And the guys, like the guards looking, are like, what are, are you guys crazy? And we. And then as you shout start, to the girls, you're like, Applebee's isn't that great. We just, <laughs> we just fucking, we were laughing what so the hard. Fuck? We were Dude. laughing. Jamie's like, and Jamie had been holding. He's like, I've never seen. Is this what American girls are like? I've never like. He was Scary. sort of fresh off the boat from Toronto. Oh my god! I was god. like, Dude, this is that's a first for me. And that you is, still had a handful of tissues. You're like, the <laughs> tissues, yeah. We like let them go, and it just went in the water. I, I told him about the tissues. It was, Holy it was. Holy shit! And so it wasn't like a disaster. I mean, it, it, it was just one of those dates. I was like, I will. I was like, we will never forget this. No. Down to the photo finish, it was jumping onto the ferry. Insane. In the getaway, yeah. The fact that like she had stuffed her bra and didn't think, oh, I'm gonna go in the bathroom before I hook up with him and take him out because like what's gonna happen? You know, as soon as you unzip your dress, they're gonna be there. But that's what I was thinking. Like, why would she not think to take? Why him out? would she not think? Like, why she was left like him. it's like me. She left him. She was like, these are cool, I guess. I mean, it's like a costume. <laughs> Maybe he has a wow. runny nose. Wow. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. So do you and ever talk to this And then the weird thing with it, with it, no, I, I wish I got, like, then with the tissues. <laughs> That's so weird. The weird thing about it was you had to acknowledge it while sort of pretending it that, a big deal. that hadn't just happened. Yeah. You had to be like, oh, yeah, tissues. She's like, oh, yeah, I was just, you know, the dress fit weird. So I, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the dress fit like, weird. Like, 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 it just, I put it on. I had it altered. It fit weird. So I thought that would make it, like, not look weird. And my, you know, it was kind of. I had to do it. I was like, you know, I get it. No, You're like, of totally. I, I stick tissues totally. in my dick all the time. <laughs> I was like, I stub my pants. <laughs> yeah, my, a, my dick has tissues on it, so don't worry. I, yeah, I, I, it's like, so I don't awkward. leave the house without at least like five tissues. Yeah. Stop. It was so, so awkward. It was the whole thing was just awkward. Oh I was like, this God. is this was amazing. And we That's we an were, amazing story though. It, it's like it, a little short film. I I, I, I it's weird. It's, I love it's it. something I've sort of wanted to put into a movie that's not enough of a thing, but Yeah. When I think about my dating life, I was, I, it's one of those things where I was like, I'd been writing kind of a book of the like essays of these insane dates that I had. I love this. And now I was like, fuck, I'm so glad I didn't publish it. Oh my God, you're so good weird, for the show no, though. All this, yeah, I, I want to hear them all. You're here for three days. 
<laughs> like, what's the next one? What's the next one? What's the, uh, dude? That's amazing. I, I love that. I've never done that, but I've never had to. So. You've never. I've never, never had, had to. But me. by the but, way, yeah. anyone, no one has to. No one has to. By no the way, girls, cares. do Trust not me. stick tissues in your. Trust bras. me, if you are a guy, yeah. and there's like a beautiful girl on top of you, right, and she's unzipping her dress. There's no need for any. Like the guy is so happy, yeah, that that is happening, yeah. It doesn't matter. I mean, you could literally have a third breast, and they'd be like, "Wow!" They'd be like, "This three, is so this great!" Is yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, there's nothing that's gonna stop them at that point. I love that. See, guys or girls, Nobody rather. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. And like, cares. if you're cool and you're vibing, like, it doesn't matter. You guys know, are right? Just so happy that remember, yeah. it, like, you know, boobs are boobs. Boobs are boobs. Boobs are boobs. And any if you're guy a pretty that face. wants to be with a girl yep. and is just happy that that the girl's paying attention to them. Exactly. Don't worry about okay, it. so no more stuffing bras. We don't need to do that anymore. But I'm so excited. I want to keep – I'm just not even going to cut you off. I just want you to keep telling me stories. I okay. feel like I'm like a little kid like listening to story time. I love it. So, again, the 90s. Oh, my God. I love it. I wish the I kind of was more like grown up in the you know 90s. What? I, I feel like AIDS was a huge bummer, Ugh. but I'm very lucky that I was a kid in the 80s and like a teen and in my 20s in the yeah. 90s. Yeah. It was an awesome time before cell it. phones. I know that's all time. Tommy tells me all the time. He's like, "We got away with murder." It's like, like it was it's just not that people amazing. behave so bad. It's just that there was a looseness. Yeah, it was just fun. There mm-hmm. was like a fun atmosphere because anything you did, it wasn't really held against you forever yeah. or, or recorded and posted for the entire world to right. see. Right to try to destroy um, you. It's awful, wasn't like yeah. locked into the blockchain of right. life. That, remember when you right. wore that? You right, idiot? like I mean, here's <laughs> you in uh, 2005 when you uh, so, shit your pants. Like it's just everywhere. And I remember this. This will date me. Okay. Oh my god. But you look really young, so we're not going to say that. Yeah. Election night. Oh, my God. 96, Clinton reelected. Oh, Clinton. Okay, yeah. There's a party. There's a party that my brother had been working for a polling firm that was doing polling for Clinton. Mm -hmm. So there was a huge party at the Tribeca Grill downtown, which was a very expensive restaurant. So anytime there's a party in an expensive restaurant, you go and just eat as much free food as you can. Right. Because you're like starving artists in your 20s. Yeah. So we go down, and there's like a big crowd of people there. And a company, and there was one girl that sort of my brother had been, had been, this girl said she was kind of interested in me and this, and I had long hair then. It was very like oh my Skeet God. Ulrich from Scream. <laughs> that was sort of my vibe. I like love the it. Creepy, long, creepy 90s long hair. I love it. And it was cool because we, like, Clinton got on the speakerphone and everyone listened to him being like, thank you so much for helping me. We're like, and they were like, yes, Mr. President. I was like, whoa, I'm like, so cool. this is kind of a moment. I'm like here for Clinton's reelection. So, of course, I, I'm looking out the window, and across the apartment, I think I see a couple fucking. Stop. I was like, I, and everyone's like listening to Bill Clinton, and I'm just like, <laughs> are they fucking? No. Because that was sort of the game you played in New York City, was you looked at the buildings across just to kind of see, see what was going yeah, on, yeah. and maybe there's people fucking. Right. And this girl comes over to me, and she's very pretty, and she's like, Oh my! Oh, she's for sure. Oh no, he's he's going down on her. That see her. I'm like, maybe that's a cello. I oh, think that's a cello. No, God. that is a girl seated, and there's a guy there, and we're like sitting there, and I'm just, just watching like, it. Just watch, and the two of us get in this crazy conversation about sex. I'm like, don't you just? I'm like. I could sit and watch strangers across in buildings for like half sex. It's my favorite. She's like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. I think I can watch my neighbors fucking, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I'll sit there and I'll just start masturbating, watching my like neighbors fucking. And I have a whole oh fucking drawer God. full of toys and like and a collection of like porn magazines and this. I was like, And oh Bill my. Clinton's all hello. And I just, and by the way, Bill Clinton being on the line. So we just get into this like very frank, kind of real conversation about sex, but she had come to the party with another guy. Oh. And she didn't want to embarrass him, and he was a good dude. And she's like, I'm not into him, he's a friend, but we gotta like tone it down yeah. because people, everyone's like, yo, what's with Adam's brother picking, at, you know? And I was like, I don't want to do that to him, he's a good dude. I know that they're just friends, he is her date, fully respectful of that. She's like, but here's my number, like, let's go out. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be totally respectful, here's my number. <laughs> Call me later, I love it. So we go out. I go to her house to meet her, and she's like, that was really crazy last time. I'm like, yeah. She's like, I'm not really like that. I'm like, okay. I'm like, yeah. she's like, no, I'm not like, it's not like, like I'm not going to take my top off. I'm like, that's totally fine. Like, this yeah. is a, this is like, she's like, I'm a single girl in New York City, and like, you got to be careful about like, weirdos and date rape and stuff. I'm like, dude, I... I get it. Like yeah. I'm not in a rush. Let's go out. Let's yeah. let's see if we like. And okay, she yeah. she had Van Morrison on and candles lit in her apartment. 
And what? Uh, I'm not taking my top off. She's taking it off. And she and had a book, a medical book, them. a true medical book that if you were a pre-medical student of social diseases, of STDs. And I was like, look, I'm all for safe sex and regular testing and using condoms. The last thing I would do before a date yeah. is sit and read, read every possible thing you could catch. Like, Crazy. It's probably going to ruin the date. Right. Like, I'm not saying that that shouldn't be a part of the conversation. But like, not till you're in that part of life with that person like it's kind of crazy on before a date to be we like want to, reading. Uh, you know we want and she's like that's fine because we're not gonna have sex anyways i was like no problem and i think we were gonna this is very, again a very 90s date gonna watch a tyson fight at a friend's <laughs> house oh my god that's what you did now yeah. the tyson fight you have to get there on time yeah because the tyson fight lasts 30 seconds dead because he knocks everyone out because right he just knocks everyone out yeah. but that was kind of the fun of it so yeah. we're and one friend would buy pay-per-view and then, and then everyone, everyone would, would show up their to their house yeah, and yeah. kick in five bucks. Cause it was so that, but that was like an event. Yes. If Tyson was fighting, that was like a, a party. Yeah. So the Tyson fight was pre-UFC. So there was no, it wasn't like a regular thing. Right. So we go to watch the Tyson fight and we're kind of hanging out and it's fine. And then she's like, let's go back to my apartment. And I go, okay, you, you sure about this? And yeah. she's like, yeah, yeah, let's go back. So we go back to her apartment. And now she takes me into the and, – and there's a guy sleeping on her couch. And, and I was like, what's Weird. that? And she's like <laughs> – What's that? She goes, that's my ex-boyfriend. <gasps> this is like – Stop. Here's the thing. This is fucking par for the course in New York in the 90s. Like people are like, this is a crazy story. But if you told that to anyone in the 90s, like, oh, yeah. That was like – people just like stop by people's houses and like would bring your – Friends would you would go out and buy walk by your friends, buzz their apartment, go up, like really? hanging out, friends would stay there. It was so normal because it, it like everyone kind of started going around around midnight or twelve thirty and you were out till six in the morning. So kind of by two AM, your friends would be like ringing your buzzer, be like, What are you doing? It's like, Oh, we're what? watching, come on up. And then like, where are you going? Oh, my friends at this club tonight, they're working the door. And then it, you'd go out at four in the morning. Like that was Oh my god. Your schedule was like and then you'd sleep till two that it was like it was, it was crazy. Like, I think about it was. now. Like that's what it was. It's really weird. I mean, my ex boyfriend stopped by, so he's just sleeping on the couch. Yes. Weird. So that's that's what happened. This weird. would happen. This wasn't like, but you like were, but it wasn't weird to you. No, it wasn't weird. It was just more of a hindrance. I was yeah. just like, and then she's like, we go in her room. And I was like, what about all those porn magazines? She goes, she's like, I didn't really have them. I just had one. I was lying. I'm like, okay, that's fine. And she's like, her room was like a mess. It was Ew. like a wreck. But, I don't like that. And I was like, okay. And then she's like, oh, this is really weird. And then her roommate was like knocking on the door. They're like, you have two people, the boyfriend's here, and now you're bringing another guy. And then the other roommate, who's a guy, is mad that she's bringing. She's like, we can't have five people. And I was like, you know what? Whoa. I was like. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, like, I'll leave. Yeah. This is all it's good. Yeah. I'll leave. It's fine. It's fine. And then it's it's fine. So like I leave. Okay. Nothing really happens. I right. sort of tiptoe past the sleeping boyfriend <laughs> and the angry roommate. <laughs> and then she's like, and then she calls me again and she's like, I want to do over. And I was like, why? She's like, I feel really bad that my roommate now she's a nursery school teacher. Hmm. And I noticed that at times she would talk to me like this. Oh, no. And I was like, oh, there was kind of like the nursery school teacher voice would come out, which wasn't a turn on. It was just. No, it was creepy. It was kind of creepy. Yeah. Was really like, <laughs> yeah. Do you want to drink? You shouldn't have it. Like, so <laughs> something happened where, okay. Oh, my God. She goes, oh, it's, I almost get uncomfortable telling the story. No, I want to hear it. I it's love an it. Guys, story. get ready to get uncomfortable. Because it started off with like super sexual. Yeah. Then it went to super asexual. So now this is like the third, like, like, like are we it. doing this? Yeah, and she sounds like she has a personality disorder. She's all over the place. She was all over the place. Yeah. But of course, when you're like 24, yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, give yeah, me yeah. more. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. You're like, I love this. You're a like, train wreck? Oh, Hell yeah. Sign me up. Yeah. <laughs> sign me up. Can I jump I want, on this train? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crashing the wall. Yeah. You're fully like, I love yeah, it. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. great. So she, she's like, let's go to a sake bar. And I was like, okay, great. She's like, there's a bar. And I meet her at her apartment again. And I, we get in a cab. And for some reason, she must have been nervous because her breath was really bad this Ew. time. But it was like that anxious stomach. I was like, do you want? Do you mind if we like stop for some gum? Because I really kind of feel like gum. And she's like, No, you I don't didn't. want any. Did you yeah. really say that? Yeah, because there's a bodega on like every corner. So like, let's just stop right here. And I get like six bags of chiclets, <laughs> like the biggest hit like, ever, <laughs> the like, biggest. I have peppermint chiclets, and I'm like chewing like three of them. I'm like, mm, Do you want any? She's like, No, I'm fine. Like, I really think you should have. I'm some. like, These are great because they're like candy and gum at the same time. 
They're like, it's not like having gum. It's like having gum. And she's like, no. She's just no. not getting it. Not getting it. What the fuck? You're like, let me see if I can get them in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, like, like, ready? Like, open like, your mouth. Let's play a game. Ready? Kill. Not happening. Stop. So she goes, let's go to the sake bar. I go, oh my uh, okay, God. fine. Let's go to the sake bar. She goes, the name of the bar is the smallest bar in New York City. And I'm thinking, oh, now I'm going to be in like close proximity. Oh, no. With the breath. But I want to be cool. And I'm trying to like, I've, we've got to make this work. Mm -hmm. And she goes, and she said, I got to be careful what I drink because I don't want you to date rape me. And I said, What the fuck is she wrong said, with this girl? <laughs> and I said, She's crazy. I said, I said, I said Ex Excuse me? She goes, <laughs> She's like, Well, you know, you got to be careful. I don't think, I was like, Well, I don't know. I would go, Do you really think that that's who I am or what I would do? She goes, No, no, no. I'm just, you know, single girl in the New York City and, you know, you get paranoid <laughs> and, like and you line. think about that. And I was like, I understand that, but like, you know my brother, you yeah. know my, like, I mean, not that knowing you just kind of changes right. that, but like. But that's a weird thing to say on a That's a, a very weird thing to say. So and I was like, weird. I was also, but like the last time I was like super. Nice. Respectful yeah. and like you set the boundaries and mm -hmm. like as always, like that's just you, like whatever you're, I'm not going to be with you if you're uncomfortable with anything. It's right. really quite okay. I'll be fine. I'm not yeah, worried like, about not... finding another date. Like this is like, I want us to both enjoy Like why would you think? So she's like, <laughs> so, awkward. so she keeps, yeah. And then she's like, <laughs> oh no. And then, so we just drink a lot of Just bad breath the whole sake. time right now. Just, oh, I don't want you to <laughs> well, shave rape me. The sake cured the breath. Oh, thank fuck. So we start making out. And then she's like, I want to go back to your place because I got the, the roommate situation. I was like, no problem. So we're in the cab and we're like, she's like, ooh, this is fun. Like, that was a big thing. Like, the cab ride yeah. was like kind of hot. Like, yeah. you'd see who the driver is. You'd see if they're checking out. You'd see if they don't care. And like, that was kind of like fun the and naughty. Yeah. The taxi cab hookup. Like, you have here to these amount of blocks and let's go. And yeah. so we're kind of making out. We go back to my place and she goes, and again, she's like, wow, I can't believe you haven't date rape me and I go what the fuck and I is go, wrong and with this she's like, like wanting you to and well I said to her I was like honestly even like making that joke it's it I'm not really it's it's, it's a little bit weird and yeah. if and if you're joking about it is your way of dealing with it like yeah. if you want to discuss it we can like fully discuss it but yeah if you want to you know if you want to leave like I'll get you I'll just get you a taxi home it's really yeah. not a big deal like I don't want you like I only want you to no 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 I want you and then it like it got like it, it that flipped to the other direction of like overdrive sexual like this the, chick is the, so like, weird. No, but it got but then I was like she wanted to have sex and yeah. then I wouldn't because you were like afraid because like, I was this very fucking weird. She said yes, some weird shit. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now like we hooked up enough that we're like I'm in it for the night. So she's yeah. in my bed at four in the morning, and she's not going to sleep. And she's like, she's staring at you. Yes, <laughs> you're like, uh, kind of tired. She said, she goes, tell me. I mean, this is me. I'm like face down, drunk, like trying to sleep. And she's like, tell me you're an artist. What is this like a, a scene from a film or something? Tell me you're an artist. Yes. Oh my god. If I put it in the movie, people think I made it up. She goes, Stop. tell me you're an artist. I go, excuse me. Oh. She goes, isn't god. that what you want to do? You want to be a director? You want to make movies? Tell me you're an artist. And I was like, I'm. I was so uncomfortable. I, I, I was so I was so like awkward and embarrassed where I went, I'm an artist. She oh. goes, Oh, that gets me so hot. That gets me so hot. And she goes, Why don't you ask me anything about me? I was like, it's actually 4 15 in the morning. I'm really tired. She goes, Why don't you ask me anything about me? You haven't asked anything about me. I was like, we've been talking about For both hours. of us. Like, what do you what do you mean? Yeah. She goes, I've traveled, you know. And I said, "Is she on crack? Like, is there actual? Is she crackhead? Like, what is happening here?" It's it's someone I've who's traveled. so tell me you're artist. Someone who's so uncomfortable what? with himself, so they can't just be. And can't they be can't just like. Yeah, and yeah, of yeah. course, in my twenties, I don't know enough to recognize that. I just right. think I have a crazy person. Right. I was like, oh no, this is someone who's just very really inexperienced, nervous. really yeah. insecure, really yeah. in her head. And I didn't know how to just Deal be with like, it. yeah, be like, dude, we you're can cool. Just be, we can. Everything's chill. good. Yeah. We can just chill out. Like. Don't worry about it. I'm yeah. just tired right now, but I really like you and you're great. Like yeah. whatever you'd say to just make them feel better, totally comfortable. And yeah. she's like, I've traveled. And I was like, don't you want to know where I've traveled to? And I'm like, I'm in After Hours, the Griffin Dunn movie. And I'm like, where have you traveled to? And she's like, I've been Stop. to England. I went to Scotland. I was like, honestly, I would love to hear about your trip to England Tomorrow. and Ireland and Scotland. But if we could just sleep for a little <laughs> bit. So we sleep in the morning. Oh, my God. And Eli. we wake up. And I walk out, 
And she's in the bathroom. She's using my toothbrush. So I'm Ew. Like, really? I'll be getting a new toothbrush. Yep. Uh, oh, Which is fine. Uh, I couldn't. I was like, okay. I'm okay. married and I don't even like that. I, I was like, okay. Crossing. Weird. Uh, weird yeah, I line, guess. Weird boundaries. It's a weird line to cross. Yeah, weird boundaries. And then she looks at me and she comes out and she's like, can you believe you didn't date rape me? Are you fucking kidding me right now? And she said that to me. Right me. And, I, and I, this was in the morning after, like, I put a stop to I'm clearly not having sex with this girl. And I go, I still, I was like, I can believe it. I don't know why you keep saying that. That she goes, is so she goes, weird. She goes, I'm kidding. I'm joking. My God, do I have to make an announcement? Okay, joke coming. Okay, I'm going to do that now. Here comes a joke. I'm going to do that before every time I joke because clearly you don't think I'm funny. And I was like... It's just an. Un- I was like, I get that it's a subject you want to discuss, but it, it's like really. She's it, weird. It really makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. And then like I turned around, I was like getting dressed, and I came out, and she was like drinking the last of my orange juice. Ew, through the fucking which bottle? was kind of a violation. Yeah, like you never finished like the last of the last something. of some yeah, orange juice in their house, and I was yeah. just like, or at least not asking or saying yeah. something. And I turned on on TV. I turned it like Talk Soup was on, and they yeah. had the clip of me in the Barbara Streisand movie, The Mirror Two Faces, bringing it back. So John funny. Henson is on Talk Soup. With a clip of me going, oh, Miss Streisand, Miss Streisand, like oh, superimposing himself in front of me as the worst extras ever, which I just thought was the greatest compliment oh, ever because I was so God, terrible. I love it. And she's like, and I'm just thinking, and I'm looking at her, and I swear to God, I remember thinking, she's like, I, I was like, oh my God, now I'm going to have to spend, I really want to go for a run in Central Park, but okay, that, if I'm going to buy another 64 ounce Tropicana, that's 250. <laughs> I think I have a dollar here. I'm gonna have to go to the ATM, take out a twenty, spend two fifty, <laughs> then get two fifty ready for the subway. But I'll want to bring five dollars with me because I'll probably want a Gatorade to take for the subway. And she just looks at me <laughs> while this is all going on, and she goes, "I love the intensity in your dark eyes." Stop! She you're goes, like I'm literally goes, thinking about goes, Gatorade. Do you know what she said? Stop. She goes, "Look at your dark eyes, thinking your intense artistic thoughts." Stop. And I was like, "Yep, my intense artistic thoughts." That was it. Oh. And then I didn't date her. And then she called me. We had one more weird phone call My after that. Oh, my God. Where she's like, I'm watching a – she called me. And I was like, hi. And she was like, I'm watching a porno. I go, okay. She goes, I'm just kidding. I'm really not. I go, why did you – why did she's you – why weird. did you – why did you tell me <laughs> – why did you tell me you were? And she's like, I don't know. I was kidding. God, I guess I got to say it really. Joe's coming. I was – I'm at work. I, Did she you have know. Asperger's? Like, what was <laughs> something, wrong? Like, something like that. Weird. She's like, yeah, here goes uh, Joe coming. Uh, Joe coming. Are you ready yeah, for it? Uh, uh, I like coming. porno. I Just kidding. Don't date me. Don't date me. God. And I go, do you know sometimes you you talk to me like one of your students? She's like, God, you're so mean. You're such an asshole. I was like, I'm. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Maybe I was like, I'll 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 call you next week. Like that was that was the last day ever. What the Talked hell? To her. It was so weird. This chick is a psycho. She was ner- She was like a girl in her twenties who hadn't had a lot of experience, experience with anything. Apparently, with, talking with, to humans, like yeah. communicating. And I think normal. she was just really uncomfortable what? and didn't quite know how to handle it. There was nothing. <laughs> ba- I can't believe you didn't date you know me. I, mean? I can't believe you didn't date me. There was nothing like, bad. There was nothing like bad that transpired. Yeah. yeah. But the whole experience is awkward as fuck. Is awkward as fuck from like, start to so finish. Awkward. Like having someone. I remember. I remember so vividly. Being in my bed with this girl when it would like switch from like the hypersexual to the I can't believe you didn't rate me to ask me about me vacation and I was it was like this rotating wheel weird it's like a slideshow I was just like I don't know what is happening so I was just super just like very careful whatever you, yeah okay sure no problem it was that dude, was dude that's so awkward yeah it was like awkward. it definitely sounds like a personality disorder of some sort or something yeah and maybe. The nursery school teacher was one of the personalities. Yeah, like she definitely seems like but she may- had maybe multiple it's like, just like she could totally sanitize everything yeah. into this childlike manner, and then the other extreme of it was feeling like she had to be Super hypersexual sexual, yeah. and adult. I mean, I look back now, and it's just you know, it's fucking weird. It was yeah, it's weird. weird. Like I, I'm really sweet. Don't touch me. Don't rape me. Oh my god, I watch porn. Like it's like all I'll over the place. I'll never forget that. I was just like, it was so weird. It was so strange. I wonder where these people are now. Like she's gonna listen to this. She's gonna be like, fuck you. Oh, she. Oh like, my yeah. god. You know, like oh what? my god, what a psycho though. But I, it's. I don't think she was a crazy person. I think yeah. you know. I look. I look at people that I was just like, oh, now that person like legitimately there was something, there was something disturbed. Right. Right. And I was you know like. I, I thought it was fun and cool and crazy, but yeah. this was like actually a, someone who needed help. So cool. This girl wasn't, she was just Nervous. like, I think it was like, 
social anxiety, yeah. awkwardness, not knowing how to handle a situation, and just sort of needing to grow up, like you know, as we as we all do. But wow. I'll never forget that. Like wow. her being so like unbelievably sexual, and then unbelievably like nervous, and then unbelievably like awkward, and just and just like she couldn't sit still. She just like she, she, she just, just kept changing she personalities. Just, she just it's couldn't insane. be. She couldn't just like let yeah. the situation sit, being like comfortable. Just like she was reading into every little thing, and you know, yeah. when you're with someone, and everything like you do, right yeah. they read into everything mm-hmm. you're doing. What do you mean by that? So, what do you mean by that? Why, why are you looking that? at me why that way? Yeah. Are you mad at me? Like, what's so going I'm on? Yeah, dude. Oh my god, that. I know people like that too. Actually, I'm friends with people like that, and you can't, you can't have a car ride with them without them constantly talking. You're like, no, dude, we can listen to the radio or chill. Like, we can actually just have peacefulness. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. I want, do you have one more? I, I want one more. All right, one more. Give me your like gnarly, I mean, the. Uh, okay, here like, we go. I want a gnarly, a, me, uh, gnarly one. Oh, this is a gnarly one. Okay, okay. I'm ready. Um, So this summer I went to Italy and. It's, oh, this is a recent one. Yeah, I don't, I don't, they can't all be from the 90s. Right, 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 right. Like, it's like, yeah. oh, it was the 90s. Current, I want something yeah. that's got to be like, oh, this still, you, Happens. this is still yeah. capable of this. I love it. Um, And a friend of mine was getting married mm-hmm. and he's getting married in. Montepulciano in this beautiful Ooh. Tuscan wine region in Tuscany and like the mountains of Italy. So he invited me to come to his wedding and I thought this is a great kind of excuse. I just was like finishing House of the Clock and its Walls and I thought, what a nice little treat at the end of it. I'll go and take this Italy vacation. I'll go to Capri. I'll go to Positano. And I'll kind of seeing friends along the way. But this was like I was kind of seven months divorced yeah. and split up. So this is my first time in six, you know, we were together six years, so really wow. in seven years, kind mm-hmm. of going anywhere on vacation without Lorenza. And I was right. like, okay, this is, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have to go and just, the whole year was just like being good with being by myself. Right. And it's like, important. it's just kind of reconnecting with yourself and your own thoughts and being, you know, using, really trying to take advantage of the time to like kind of, you know, Heal. get to know where, yeah. here, yeah, and where am I in my life and what do I really want? Yeah. And so my friend said, you know, come to this wedding. And I always kind of had this fantasy, like, what if at the wedding meet I meet someone. some, like, beautiful Italian girl or something? Where totally. at this, there's some 12th century villa, and there's, like, incredible wine and Italian food. And it's it's kind of a small wedding, but large enough that there's, you know, it's like maybe like a 120-person wedding or something. Mm-hmm. So, so um, and I'm kind of saving it for the end of my trip. So I've been, like, kind of bouncing around Italy and just eating food and getting fat and having fun and Hell getting yeah. tan and just like drink, like fully like fuck everything. Just I'm just it. gonna eat and drink and relax and get sun and swim and not worry about anything. Living your best life. Yeah, just like not That's overthink, it. not yeah. overthink anything. Whatever yeah. happens, happens. So mm-hmm. finally at the end, I get to, I get to the town where the wedding is and it's my friend's wedding and there's a girl at the wedding who's just like, strikingly beautiful. Of and course, it's Italy. She is, but she's like northern Italian, like green eyes and blonde hair and tan. Mm-hmm. And she's like the she's like the best friend of uh, of the bride. Uh-huh. So my friend, who's the groom, and you know, I kind of like meet, you know, introduced me to this girl and I was like, oh my God, like, is she with that guy? And they're like, no, actually she's single. And they're like, we don't, we like, we're kind of, we don't want to force anything. We're yeah, going to see yeah, you guys yeah, together. Like it, yeah. So it's clear that we're like the two single, two people of the, the wedding, single people yeah. at the wedding. And there has been discussion oh, about, okay. oh, wait till you meet yeah. Eli. Yeah. You're going to, you know, so there was some Googling that was, so there was Dope. like, I was like, wow, so this is actually being like really kind yeah. of set up perfectly. Like yeah. here I am at this wedding in Italy and there's like this beautiful girl and she's a designer and works in fashion and wow. is like, Traveled to India and is very earthy and really, really just very cool and beautiful. Wow. And so we're at the wedding and we're talking and we really, really click. Like yeah. this girl is is like smart and cool and interesting and creative and really into design and fashion and blah blah. So we're at the wedding and we're not seated together, but we're another friend there's other Italian friends I have that are there and everyone's like drinking and they're at this beautiful villa and there's the DJ and like 
they start dancing. They're playing Italian songs. This sounds amazing. I'm like, oh when does God. this get bad? This sounds great. Like, no, this is like a dream. We're like, in this the is like dream. best first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah, best this first. is great. We're, this is the yeah, part we're in is best epic first. right now. I'm like, I'm living it. I'm here. I'm there. So we're there, and they're playing all the like, and everyone's like eating the cake, and Aww. the wines are spectacular. And then everyone starts like dancing in the courtyard, and there's like the DJ, and we're all, and they're playing all these classic like Italian songs. wedding songs yeah. and everyone's dancing and by now I know enough of Italian like I know enough of it so I go to the DJ and I request Spice Girls stop no oh my god and I fully and it was like spice up your life and I, and I fully and this girl loses her mind in the like, best so possible excited. way like that I like that that's that what I that. not only yeah. Yeah. that that's what I requested that's fucking amazing but that I could sing every fucking part flawlessly <laughs> oh so I'm just like gosh. you know call us over it's bicep your life everyone is like Lombada we met like the oh end of chicka 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 oh, arriba <laughs> like everything and she's like and we're just and everyone's going crazy. Like the whole fucking wedding oh is like my losing God. their Spice shit. Spice up your life in Italy in a Lose villa. Lose up the shit oh in like this 12th God. century Just villa. So amazing. I'm wanting to like, and it's like you're out <laughs> under the stars. It's like August. We're like Spice Girls. Dude. And this girl we're is Spice Girls. Spice Girls, and this we just like the Spice Girls. And we're oh all God. spicing it, spicing oh up our, our lives. lives. And this yeah. like beautiful girl is just yeah. like in my arms. Oh my God. And I'm like twirling, and suddenly. There's like the we're, we're like us and there's like a circle and everyone is just like watching us. Wow! And we're, and we're like, this is it. This like, is this amazing. Is like this the is romantic the dream. Yeah. Dream. And yeah. so then she's. We're like, let's take a walk on the property. So we're like walking around the property and we're like, then we start like kissing under the stars. And I was just like, dude. And we look and there's like there's like there's the villa and we can hear the music and we have the wine and we're like barefoot and we're. Oh my I'm just like God. this is the greatest. <laughs> What could this is amazing. Nothing could happen. Wrong. What could go wrong? Yeah. And then there were oh, like no. there was like one or two other people. She's like, okay, we should like let's let's wait. Like well, I have you know my let's go back to your hotel room or my like we each have hotel rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I have like a perfect beautiful hotel this room. Is great. So we're like we're good. This is on. I was like, hang on, I'm feeling a little. <laughs> just one second. I need to just like, and I started to feel my stomach, and I was like. I think I'm getting a little sick because I, of course, overindulged. You like and drinking I was like, I and need, eating and I like. I need the bathroom. Stop. Stop. And I was just like, she's like, okay. She's like, she goes back to the in dance the perfect floor. Moment. And I go in. I have like level five, like what was the, like the Japanese nuclear <laughs> reactor <laughs> Fukushima, like meltdown. I have like reactor meltdown level diarrhea. And I'm like dying. I'm, I'm literally dying. I was like, my insides start to liquefy. And I'm like, oh, Dude, this isn't stop. happening. I'm like, this can't, stop. This can't be happening. Then, like, I was like, body, just you cannot. Shitting at, shitting. You just can't. I was like, and I'm just oh, like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So I'm like, and then. What was in that cake? You spiced up your life like, a little too much. So oh. then I come out. And oh I'm like, God. fine. I'm like, fine. Like five minutes later, I was just like, excuse me, it's I gotta go back. Again. And I've now, I'm like locked in this 12th century dungeon and I've already like used the entire roll of toilet paper. Oh my so God. I reach for another <laughs> roll. And there's like a curtain. And I grab the roll and the curtain falls. And I'm sitting on the toilet and the entire wedding is dancing. And I'm just like, oh my God. I'm having like, <gasps> so I have to like lean over and like oh hold up God. the curtain. But it's not like enough distance to hit the toilet. So I have to like quickly back. And I was like, did anyone see me? And I was just like, <laughs> I'm like crying and laughing. And I'm, I'm like sweating now oh because God. I was like, now it's like crossing into <laughs> over to do I have food poisoning. I was just like, I can't believe this is happening. Oh so I come God. out of the bathroom after oh like 45. God. I was just like, it's like a catastrophe. Oh my God. And dude. the wedding is basically over and she's there and she's like, do you want to, do you want to ride back to like, do you want to come back with me? And I was like, you know what? I just sat down with her and I just like looked her right now. I was like, I just shit myself. I was just like, this is, this could actually be like one of like the all time most romantic nights of my life. But I assure you, if I go back to your hotel or you go back to mine, it will turn into the, the most, worst. the worst you've ever seen. I was like, I don't know what is going on with my body right now, but no other human should be, I, I'm gonna need like a three mile radius. Oh my God. I, and she just starts laughing so hard. I was like, I would, I would love to have like this beautiful Italian love making. I was like, there's nothing more than I want. That is the very beginning. But my body, 
is just not having it right now. And I was like, and if I go back to your <laughs> oh to your God. room, I will be in the bathroom the entire night. Oh and it will be my God. it will be bad for bad, both of us. Bad. And you will never look at me the same. And I would rather just have the memory of me and you dancing to the Spice Girls under the stars because if you see what's gonna happen to me in the next two two hours. And it's she over. she just looked at me and she gave me the biggest smile and she said Honestly, I'm so, she's like, you really did it right at an Italian wedding. I've been there. We've all been there. It's your first Italian wedding. Everybody overdoes it. And that's the best thing ever. And you just had a great time. And like, if it's meant to be, we'll continue it another night. Oh my God. It was like so cool. Like, so cool about it. So then. Dude, I'm dead that the curtain so then, fell and the fucking no, the worst party part is, was right there. Best. Then Thank I you. went back to my hotel. And I was at the top of this mountain, so like, the, there's a weird thing with the taxis where they're only allowed to drive up the street during oh, certain and hours. To walk, right? So the taxi guy like leaves me at the bottom. I'm like, no, I'm trying to explain to him, you can go, you can go, you can go, because I have like a window to get up to my room before I like have explosive <laughs> nuclear reactor level diarrhea Stop. again. Stop. And I go up, and I'm just like, I see it, and I'm like, the, my body clock, I'm like calculating the steps, <laughs> and am I gonna make it? Because I'm like, and by the way, the people at the like the end they like knew me and they gave me the best room and oh they were super God. nice to me and we're so happy to have you here and, yeah. blah, blah, blah. and I was like great and I'm just like there and I get outside and there are four fans who had seen like me post a Snapchat with like all this stuff to sign. Oh my God. In and Italy, they were so outside nice outside your thing. And they're like, we've been waiting here all night for you. And your stomach's all <laughs> and my stomach's there. So I had your to stomach's all, I'll sign that. Sign <laughs> autographs outside. Like literally just like no! stomach With your insides, stomach just like bleh, liquefying. Bleh. Yeah, yeah. And uh, oh my yeah. God. Yeah, and then I went back and literally like the rest of the night. I did you make like, it into your room? I made it to you my room. You didn't shit your pants. Barely. I did not. Oh my, shit my God. Pants. The fans but were like, wow, close. he's really sweaty. It was fucking close. It was a very close call. Because once your body knows you're near the toilet, it's just like. It just gets even more. Like it comes fucking, right out. It's, it's like ready the gates to go. like come up and you're like, no, 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 no. And like, you're like, you're like, no. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. And then you just like get to the it's toilet. So true, and you're just guys. like, and I'm like, ah, ah, ah. Uh, like panting, and then I like you know shower. Okay, but honestly, bed. isn't it almost better than sex when you have that really it's good? You just it's get it part. out. It's you just like, you just have to like, shit so bad, and you reach a toilet, like, and you're fuck. just like fuck. It's like and I was feels laughing, so good. And I was and by the way, like I like texted her that I was like sex would have been like amazing, but I can't even tell you how good I feel right now. <laughs> She's like I'm so happy for you. Lisa, like Lisa, she was like it was like that she's was the was, coolest. She was the coolest. She's the I was coolest. Because like, that's the litmus test. Like if mm-hmm. if someone can handle that, then like what else is there? I mean, we're all human. It's like, like it's gonna happen. Everyone has had that like everyone. I don't care who you are. Shitting your pants, diarrhea in front of like the one that you want to think you're attractive, and the fact that she was like even so cool with it, I was like, she's like I've been there. <laughs> Dude, even like the hottest people, everyone's had it. Everyone has diarrhea. Every attacks. single person. And by the way, do you know what else I found? What? Everybody loves diarrhea stories. Dude, like, like when, everyone. Like, when you, like, I know it's not like a thing to talk about, certainly not what you're, but like, when I, like, I told a very close friend that story, and, she, and they were, and they were like, oh, is that the diarrhea? Like, they thought it was the best. It's the best. They're like, that is the funniest, It's most the best. Human. It's so, relatable. So the it's Spice right. Girls, like, fuck, there. dude. The Spice Girls, it was all I can't believe up. the shit fell and the fucking crowd was out there. That's insane. And you're trying to hold up the curtain. And so they dude, don't it was see Terrifying. You. Terrifying. Everyone dancing at a wedding. Look cut to Eli. Diarrhea attack. Oh, Bear my Jane. God. Please Hashtag uh, diarrhea. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> diarrhea in Italy. Oh my God, dude, the best stories. Yeah. And so as I knew you would be the best storyteller on here. Well, you're like, the best. No, no. I, I was thinking about it. I was like, I wanted some fun ones. I wanted like a sort of like silly, crazy one, a dark, crazy one, and then like a ridiculous. But you know what? It's fun. You know, sometimes like, sometimes when you have that crazy date and that awful experience, it's either like gonna make it or break it, you know? Exactly. It either brings you closer or you're just like, get either me the like, fuck I'm out in of here. Or like, yeah. I'm out. Oh my God. I love. First of all, I love a, a relatable diarrhea story because it's the that, most relatable. Everyone's been be, there. It should be like entire podcast. I just like, you know, I'm changing the name of the podcast to just fucking <laughs> shit stories. <laughs> I just want all your oh, shit. shit. Brittany Verlin Brittany shit Fr- storm. <laughs> Brittany Verlin <laughs> shit storm. Just come on here, submit your best diarrhea stories, guys. We'll tell them all. Eli, submit thank it. you so much oh for Oh my God, doing my this. pleasure. This You're amazing. So fun. Guys, follow him. He's on Instagram, Eli Roth. I mean, you already know who he is. He's everywhere. He's directed amazing films. He's super talented. I can't wait to see what you have coming up next. Are you allowed to like, 
like say anything about it or what you're working on or anything like that? Give us uh, a hint. Not yet. I'm getting not close yet. though. Okay. I, have, I have a couple things in the works. Um, and uh, one one thing like that I'll possibly shoot this fall, and another thing that I'm kind of secretly editing. So, mm. so there there will be an announcement soon. Yes, very excited. We'll have to have you back on. So uh, definitely we'll get some more shit your pants stories. And I know I have to go on some more dates <laughs> and you know, go on some more dates. Take some laxatives. Before, right, right. I don't know how I'll ever match that. That level. was amazing. All right, guys, spice up your lives and make sure to fucking shit your pants. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for next week. More worse first.